A glad filled afternoon to each and everyone. My pleasure to introduce to you Santa Catalina Integrated National High School Learning Continuity Plan School Year 2020 2021. In this time of global pandemic where COVID 19 has affected our day to day lives, cancellation of classes, disruption of seminars, and due stress, depth and caliber zone. Together with STO Laguna, this is speaking in one voice. No crisis would stop us. Education must continue. In response to the problems and challenges caused by the pandemic in the education sector, the school is proud to present its basic education learning continuity for school year 2020 to 2021. This SLCP is the collaborative effort of the school administration and teaching personnel with its consultation to the parents and students through learners enrollment survey form. The adjustment of today's education that comprise of the learning modality to be used, the framework and plans of its implementation, management of operations, and others are carefully crafted considering all the factors needed. In conclusion, Santa Catalina Integrated National High School with its administration teaching and non-teaching personnel would like to express its abiding commitment to education. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, sulong ito kalidad. Lago, Laguna. As the pandemic challenged the education sector, the school is in one commitment with the Department of Education to continue and pursue its mission and vision. Therefore, the learning continuity plan is prearranged and crafted. Project Reach All programs and projects of Santa Catalina Integrated National High School are under the umbrella of Project Reach, nurturing and improving schools' accountability. R. Redirect and reorganize plan to create a safe new normal in education. E. Ensure the learning continuity among learners despite the health crisis brought by COVID-19 pandemic. A. Access to all stakeholders should be made stronger more than ever and be maintained. C. Calibrate teachers' capacity and skills to be able to provide the new emerging needs of our learners. H. Had success and win over education obstacles and roadblocks. In the planning and implementation of the school learning continuity plan, it is indeed significant to consider the school population, students and teachers with the parents' preference in the teaching modality to be used. Below are the necessary data to consider and analyze. Take Comparison in the previous and present enrollment data. Enrollment, previous school year is 2038. Latest enrollment as of July 15 is 1893, with a percentage of 92.89%. The table recognizes that the school has achieved its 92.89% enrollment as of July 2020, a total of 145 enrollees are still missing and expected to enroll to reach a 100% enrollment. Table 3, Number of Teachers the school
shows that most learners prefer modular distance learning modality with 41 percent 783 learners while the others desire to do the online distance learning with 31 percent 585 learners blended learning with 22 percent 416 learners and the least is the TV-based instruction with 6% 109 learners. Learning modality of best fit. The table reflects the data taken from the, e, from the LES app that shows modular distance learning ranked first as the chosen learning modality of the learners. Online distance learning ranked second. And the combination blended learning rank third. In this scenario, the school considers all the previous data connected to the learning modality of best fit to come up with the final decision of using the modular distance learning modality and online distance modality. Process flow for modular distance learning. The school we prepare the module by means of downloading it, reproducing the modules, and we'll allot some buffers, and then we'll distribute the modules through the help of the SK, Chairman, Officers, Barangay Officials, through the NGO or other partners like Team Mayabo, the learners will be receiving the modules, they will answer the module, they will perform the test, they will answer some formative tests. And then on the retrieval of the module, same people will do it. The SK, the Barangay officials, the NGOs, the other partners like Team Mayabo. And then... You will submit the modules to the school and the teachers will receive the answered modules. The teachers will do the appraisal, the assessment, the checking, the recording for the summative test on the specific time given by the department. Next is the process flow for online distance learning. The school will prepare the exemplar, the learning resources, the virtual classroom. For the online classes, they have the materials, the e-modules, the slide decks. The learners will attend the online learning, perform the test given, answer the formative test and then the parents checklist and then for the appraisal assessment checking reporting and then summative test on the specific date given process flow of combined modular distance learning and online distance learning for a LCP Eclaya learning experiences. If the learner has internet access, yes, he will proceed to online learning. However, if he does not have the internet access, then he will proceed to modular learning. But it can also be the combination of online and modular. Then he will Proceed to the learning plan, the idea exemplar produced by the teacher. And then the rest was discussed earlier a while back. School's assessment plan according to the learning delivery modality of best fit and appropriate assessment strategies and tools for modular distance learning. Learning modality, modular distance learning, types of assessment, formative, assessment method, inventories, checklists relevant to the topics, the KWL activities, open-ended questions, 
practice exercises, how to conduct, learning materials, forms are to be delivered together with the modules every first day of the week, Sunday, as requested by Tim Bayabo, for they are working, and to be retrieved every sixth day of the week, Friday. Who are the person involved? Teachers, parents, learners, Tim Bayabo, barangay officials. For the type of assessment, which is summative, the assessment methods are reflective learning portfolio and quarterly assessment. The reflective learning portfolio is to be retrieved every fifth day of the week, Friday, for checking and recording purposes. The quarterly assessment will follow the usual schedule stipulated on DepEd calendar of activities only a strict compliance on the delivery, 7 a.m. and retrieval, 11.30 a.m. of the test papers on the same day and must be followed by the concerned person. Person involved, teachers, parents, learners, in Mayabo and Barangay officials. Schools assessment plan according to the learning de delivery modality of best fit and appropriate assessment strategies and tools, online distance learning, learning modality, online distance learning, types of assessment, formative, online games, online interviews, inventories, checklist relevant to the topics, KWL activities, open-ended questions, practice exercises. How to conduct online submission of outputs. Person involved, teachers, parents, learners. On summative assessment, the assessment methods and strategies are reflective learning portfolio, quarterly assessment. How to conduct the reflective learning portfolio is to be submitted online every sixth day of the week, Friday for checking and recording purposes. Quarterly assessment will follow the usual schedule stipulated on DEPED calendar of activities only on strict compliance on the schedule of the examination per subject must be followed by concerned person. Persons involved, teachers, parents, learners. Grading system based on DEPED order number 8 series 2015. Santa Catalina Integrated National High School will follow the same computation where percentage score equals learner's total row score over highest possible score times 100 percent class programming junior high school modular this is the sample schedule of modular class program we have the time and then we have monday tuesday wednesday thursday we have the self phase, we have the consultation, and every Friday is assessment day. Sample class programming for junior high school on online. Yes, classes start on 7.30 and then ends on 4.30. But you will notice that we have Monday to Friday with synchronous and asynchronous classes for senior high school will follow the previous year's class schedule wherein subjects will be taken by learners two hours two times a week for the core and applied subjects however for the specialized subjects lessons will be taken by the learners two hours per day four times a week. Learning Resources, Distribution, and Retrieval Scheme Reproduction, the downloading and the reproduction of modules from July to August 20, 2020, second week, and then distribution. You will be asking the help again of these people every first day of the week, Sunday, as requested starting October 2020 and then retrieval the same people 
and this will be every sixth day of the week starting October 2020. Parental involvement and stakeholder support. Ang saya. The parents headed by the General PTA Officer's President, Mr. Dion Clabraria, our School Governing Council, Ma Mabel Barba, the Porpoise Parent Leaders, and of course, never to mention, Mr. Victor Gohokus, the Federated PTA President. They are always in close communication with the school. Several donations are given in line with the Brigada Escuela and Upland Balik Escuela 2020. As a group, we are also helping the school in the information dissemination to other parents as to the programs and project implementation of Santa Catalina Integrated National High School. Partnership and Networking the school has been continuously in close connection to its industry partners and other stakeholders. The Memorandum of Agreement is prepared as the opening of classes starts for the work immersion purposes of the senior high school students for other school-related matters. And this is the registry of stakeholders with areas of support and amount of donation to Santa Catalina Integrated National High School and this is Santa Catalina Integrated National High School summary of expenditure for learning continuity plan implementation these are the legal basis for our references we have chosen this legal basis because they are directly related in the implementation of the new normal and as the principal of this school I should be knowledgeable of the legal decision making because they are essential to provide effective feedback for a successful learning continuity flow.